Hey guys, Prime Guy 98 yet again with part three. Uh, I, I mean part two, sorry, of the um, Transformers Siege War for Cybertron um, reflector or refractor. And yeah, uh, in the previous video about this guy, we reviewed one of them, but now I got three of them, and that means the team is complete. Which means we can start combining this guy into his camera mode. Well, that means that this is going to be a bit of a shorter video, but eh. So, yeah, uh, let's get to transformation, I guess. Uh, we don't need to look at the robot modes, because we already did that in the previous episode. Plus, the old modes are already covered. So, let's get to transformation. So, getting this guy into um, his camera mode, or these guys into camera mode, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna remove the shield and the guns of every single one of these figures. Oh, well, we're gonna remove pretty much everything. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> So, once you have removed every single accessory, we're gonna take these guns and we're gonna just, we get this peg thing and this slot thing and we're just gonna peg it in there and we're just gonna create a little tripod and that's very clever in my opinion. Then, we're gonna take these pieces and these shields We'll just peg in like so. We get like this peg thing here and this whole thing here, which corresponds with the pegs and holes of every single one of them. And in, we just create a lens. And this is not that hard as it seems, for me at least. So yeah, we get a lens. So that's pretty much the camera accessories, the tripod and the lens. But for the tripod, what we want to do, we want to take the middle guys. Um, whoops, I'll be right back. So after literally five minutes of looking for your lost piece, you just want to pretty much take this off the belly and just get these holes right here and these pegs right there. And you just want to peg it in there so it has like a way to peg into the camera mode so that's pretty much everything for the accessories what you want to do next is you want to take this guy and again you pretty much want to remove these things on every single one of them just put them off to the side next to the camera accessories and we're gonna take this guy let's take the middle one doesn't really matter which one you can choose which one is going to be the middle or not. But what you want to do is you want to first rotate the head 180 and bring it in. You want to take one of your little camera, uh, I mean this silver thingy and just plop it in the top of this head. Then we're gonna bring these shoulders in right there. I'm gonna rotate these arms like so. I'm gonna flip in these hands, pretty much. There we go. And we're gonna flip them on this double hinge, which is stupidly tight. There we go. And it's like curled up, like so. Then, you wanna take the waist, rotate it a 180, like so. And you wanna take the feet and rotate them on that swivel. Then you want to open up these, what were the skis of the original or old, uh, old mode of this guy. And you want to just curl this up and you want to get this arm at a slight angle, I would advise. And then you just, it goes like in this space right there. So that upper arm goes up in there. I don't know how well that shows on camera there and close it up. And that should close things up never so nicely 
There we go. And then that's that. You want to close that up. I'm going to do that pretty much exactly the same for the other side. There we go. There we go. You close that up. You want to take these legs and just make them together. And there we got one section. Now this section is not going to be the middle, this section is going to be this part due to the knob on there which is going to be like the, the button you're going to press to, to make the, um, uh, to take the picture. So again, I'm going to do exactly the same, rotate the head around and flip it in, rotate the shoulders, flip them arms on a stupidly tight ratchet like hinge right here because you got this elbow hinge right here so you what you pretty much got is you get this elbow hinge right here but you get this ratchet hinge like the double ratchet hinge and th this part is easy but then getting it up even further it's like really tight and you want to get it like that and then you rotate it around and then fold in the fist and that's like stupidly tight that one went a bit better. And there we are. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna rotate the waist. Rotate these legs. Open these up. And then just carefully fold these in. Like just get these in there. Like, come on. In there, you dang it. I am gonna do like this one, and then I'm gonna do like the third one off camera. Should have done this one off camera, but hey, I'm a, I'm stupid sometimes. Oh, and then yeah, you wanna do that after that, otherwise, it might get in the way. Again, do this little guy like. God dang it, come on, get in the right position, there you go. Come on, and god dang it. There we go. Close it up. And you wanna hack these together. And there you go, there you got number two. Now for this one, you don't need that thing. I'm gonna do this one on the, exactly on that other side. And once you're done with that, you should have end up with three of these cubes where one of them has to be in love. Now, how are you going to turn this into a camera? Fairly simple. If you have these three boxes, you're going to rotate the middle one, like so. And you're going to take this one and this one. And you got this whole, uh, this peg here, this big peg that will go into that hole there. That course, and because it's mirrored, it's, yeah, it's perfectly mirrored. And then you get like this weird peg thingy that goes in this socket for the ball joint of the, or like the socket for the shoulder. So you should be able to line these up like so and just press them together and there we go. And it's very solid because it's like four pegs just in there. And then you're gonna do exactly the same on the other side and then Press it together, and there's the base of your camera. It kind of looks like a radio right now, like a li little sound wave. Thing. That's kind of cool. Anyway, now you're gonna take this thingy and you're gonna place it wherever you want. I'm gonna place it right in the lens area right there because this is like molded as like a smaller lens. Then you're gonna take this guy. I got like these weird areas right here. You got like, I don't know if you can see that, but in there, in the silver part, you got a wedge and you got a wedge there. So what you want to do, that that like plugs in there. Right, so it like, so it goes right up in there. Come on, get in there. Is that lens thingy in there? No, it's not, is it? It has a lens thingy in the way. I think you need to get rid of that. Let's see. Yeah, so that lens thingy was getting in the way, and I just 
plug that on there, now you get pretty much your camera. Now we're gonna put this one, let's just say, right there. Let's just put that right there. Like that, that that's like a little dial, we got a button, and we got the lens, okay? So now you're gonna take the stand or the tripod. And very simple, you get these holes. You just wanna plug this one right there in the middle, and you get yourself your camera mode. And after like 10 minutes, we got ourselves a camera. And I gotta say, it looks great. It looks it looks good, in my opinion. This looks really good. It's it's very heavy because it's like three figures in one. It has some very good weight to it. I would say it's like a bit lighter than an actual camera, but it has a similar weight. And because it's that it has a little bit of a heft, it stands very well. So if you want to try to knock it over, it, it doesn't really do that. Unless you just smack it like that. But anyway, as you can hear, that has some weight to it. Now, the front looks great, the back, yeah, that looks obvious. But, the diagonal angle, like that, it looks great. In my opinion, this is good. This is great. And I bought three of these figures. And I gotta say, I don't regret buying three of them because it really pays off. Because this is an old mode that makes sense. Um, instead of that sad excuse of a aircraft or like a carrier kind of thing. So this is way better than an individual old mode of these guy, these guys. So yeah, um, I would say pick up three of these guys and get yourself a camera. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I got a little bit of a comparison, which is an odd one, but it's a comparison, nonetheless. So, let me get it. Pretty much before I got this guy, I actually already wanted a reflector. So what I pretty much did, is I made myself one out of paper. And, yeah. This is my paper craft reflector. And indeed, there are three guys just curled up in there. Just yeah, it falls apart very easily. Anyway, that's pretty much a comparison between my paper craft version and the toy version. And I gotta say, the purple on this guy looks pretty good. I like it. But yeah, uh, taking a look at the, one of these individually. The head sculpts of these paper craft versions are pretty much, like, uh, toy accurate. So they're not cartoon accurate, so they get three different heads. So this is one of them. And, yeah, pretty much get this guy, which has, again, the toy accurate head, and you get, like, these shoulders, so this is a bit of a different version. There's, like, the other guy, and let's, I guess this one can, yeah, and you get, like, this guy. Yeah, you get three of these. Pretty much that's my previous reflector, but now I got the toy version. So anyway, um, this was Reflector, and I'm Prime Guy, and I'll see you next time. Bye!